Welcome to BTEC guys, David here. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button for me. And let's get into it. Huawei's flagship line, the Mate 30 series, is just around the corner. And just the other day, I put a video out about the Mate 30 Pro, as it seems as though the official renders and much of the specs have been leaked. If you want to check out that video, click the tab above. But today, I've got some pretty bad news. Although every cloud does have a silver lining. We have had official word from Google that the Mate 30 Pro cannot ship running any Android services, and that includes the operating system. If you don't know about Huawei's situation at the moment, then I'll give you a brief overview. A few months ago, Donald Trump's administration placed Huawei on the US government's entity list, meaning that no US companies can do business with the Chinese firm without a special permit. Citing that Huawei could be a security risk to the US, but mainly because they make the most advanced 5G infrastructure at the moment, and Trump would rather see the US firms roll out this technology, which would benefit the economy to the tune of $500 billion. So they have accused Huawei of spying for the Chinese, which of course Huawei strongly deny. Now there are many American firms that Huawei rely on to produce their products, including Qualcomm, Intel, and of course Google, who will provide the operating system for all of their devices. The Mate 30 Pro is Huawei's top of the line flagship device, and the news that we've had today deals it a major blow. I'll get to the statement in a bit, but before I want to say a big thank you to Direct Mobiles. They have over 24 years of award-winning customer service. It is the place to go if you need a new phone. Check below for a link or search directmobiles.co.uk. So this is what Google had to say. The Mate 30 cannot be sold with the licensed version of Android and associated Google apps and services due to the US ban on sales to Huawei. A temporary reprieve that the US government announced last week does not apply to new products such as the Mate 30 series. So that seems pretty conclusive, although there is still a chance that the Mate 30 could run Android. As I said before, companies can work with foreign firms on the US entity list, but they have to apply for a special permit. It's not clear whether Google have applied for a license specifically for the Mate 30 series, although you think they would. It is one of the world's most popular devices, so it is definitely in Google's interest for it to be running its software. But if the worst comes to worst, then of course, why we have their plan B, Harmony OS. This software has been in development for over seven years now, and according to Huawei, it has always been their backup. They never wanted to run their own operating system in their handsets just yet, and although Harmony OS can be used as their safety net, it was never intended to be used for smartphones. As the name Harmony suggests, it is intended for the internet of things and for industrial systems. It's one operating system that would be used across a whole range of devices, including your smartphone. Since Trump first mentioned the ban, Huawei engineers have been rushing to optimize this software and it is ready, but Huawei would still rather not have to use it. But it could be the best thing that ever happened to them. With just two vendors supplying the operating systems for pretty much the entire world, personally, I would think it would be very good to throw in another powerful competitor into the mix. It would be incredibly challenging for a company to muscle in on Apple and Google's monopoly. Their ecosystems are so rich and diverse that it almost seems like an impossible task. And globally, I think there is just a handful of companies that could do it. And luckily, Huawei are one of them. It's definitely a challenging time for Huawei, but if nothing else, this ban has helped them gain notoriety in the West. This time last year, most people had never heard of Huawei, let alone be able to pronounce it, but now most people can, and that's mainly because of the ban. Anyone who's ever owned a Huawei would know that Huawei have their own app store, but it's nowhere near as well stocked as Google or Apple's. Huawei do have a chance of becoming a serious competitor to Android, as well as iOS. It will be really interesting to see how this one plays out. What do you think guys? Do you think we're going to get Harmony OS or Android with the Mate 30 Pro? Let's have a chat in the comments below. Anyway, that's it from me. Make sure you smash that like button and leave me a comment and of course subscribe for more news and tech reviews from BTEC. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. It's at BTEC or you can add me on Snapchat, david.btech. Thanks for watching. My name's David. This is BTEC.